The views and opinions expressed do not reflect those of Fuego Beast Radio and their affiliates. Although the subjects discussed are true, comments and statements expressed were made for entertainment purposes only. So if you feel some type of way, get over it. Don't fuck around and do dumb shit. Then people wouldn't be making these types of videos. So this edition is about co-workers once again. Everybody has them, everybody hates them, and I am no different. And of course, I always have to actually go in on a few people because these attitudes are pretty much extreme and have to be talked about. So brings me to this guy at work, pretty much is like this. Do you have somebody at work who always talks about how they hate a job so much that they just can't stand it? But yet they're still there for like 10 or 12 years. How does that work? Because it usually if you're so much emphatic about leaving somewhere, just leave. Why do you have to stay? Of course you like the job. But you just don't like the things that come with the job. Like the bullshit. Or the people. But according to you, you're not the problem. It's the people that are the problem. But it's weird because whenever you talk about a promotion or talk about why you don't get anything, it's funny because you're the one that actually causes all of this to happen to you don't blame other people i'm just saying i'm not a doctor or anything but i diagnosed you with some sort of sociopath type characteristics or possibly you're depressed or i don't know anti-social behavior or textbook nar narcissism there we go it has to be one of those things because for you to just sit there and think that you're not the problem in the situation, you know, you have altercations with uh, supervisors, you fucking talk bad about your, your boss, that is basically soliciting a potential position that's open. You just act crazy and just say whatever the fuck you want. And that's really crazy. And another thing is, is that you don't want to be sad and have a sad existence and have an irrelevant existence as well. Because you, my friend, have pretty much had a sad life, according to you. I don't know what you did in school. You probably got your ass whipped in school. They probably ran your ass up the flagpole. Probably gave you wet willies all day. Still, probably dunked your ass in the toilet a couple of times. Um, and probably another thing was they probably put cigarettes out on you like you were a human ashtray or something. So you probably didn't get that good of an experience at uh, elementary through high school. So transitioning into the military, first thing that happens is, I don't know, I guess you... Uh, came back from boot camp and noticed that everybody moved. So that probably has to tell you something right there that, yeah, I guess your parents and sister couldn't stand you, so they probably packed up and left town and probably didn't even tell you about it. And, you know, you did that, you did this, you did a little this, you did a little that, you dabbled into uh, construction, you tried to join a mo motorcycle gang or whatever, and I guess they beat your ass because they didn't like you. Or whatever. I guess you didn't cut it. So I guess they cut you and then beat your ass. Or beat your ass didn't cut you. Either way, an ass beating was uh, uh, commenced. And you, you ended out on the street. So then you ended up at this job. And somehow you uh, squeezed in a degree in there somewhere. But you just keep talking about your degrees. Like that's actually amounting to something. Because... I mean, I hate the shit on criminal justice degrees, but that really doesn't take you anywhere. I mean, fuck. A fucking 
crackhead out in the street can get a criminal justice degree. I mean, you can go to ITT Tech and get that shit very easily. You know, mostly people who get criminal justice degrees are pretty much those guys that are trying to figure out how to get above the law. You know, you figure out loopholes when they try to do shit. And they can uh, we weasel their way out of getting in trouble. So you really can't say, I got a bachelor's degree and, uh, you know, I got a bachelor's degree in criminal justice, so you can't tell me shit. No, they can actually tell you shit. They'll probably just roll that shit up uh, like this, like this here, and slap your ass with it. So, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Just because you got that, you think you're better than everybody at work? Really? And... Let's not talk about your love life. That's another story. Whew. Well, I don't know how you even have a girlfriend, to be honest with you, because, I mean, it's just, like, look at you. I mean, I mean, but look at me, but look at you. But for you to have a girlfriend is, is very spellbound, binding, you know, spellbounding, binding, bounding, binding, whatever you want to call it. It just boggles the mind how you have a girlfriend. So... In any case, you have a girlfriend. Now, whether or not she looks good or not, that's another story. Because how would you feel if you were walking around with a chick that looked like Hank Williams Jr. Or looked like Chris Farley. Or looked like John Candy. Or looked like John Goodman in drag. How would you feel about that? I would feel bad about it. So you should feel bad about it. But, you know, just circling back around to this, this, this all leads to um, one thing. You just pretty much had a sad existence for some reason. And that's pretty much your fault. It's not anybody else's fault in the room except yours. You have to be the one that says, hey, you know what? My life sucks. I need to fix it. And it's not, hey, you know what? My life sucks. You fix it. No. The only people that say shit like that are people who have some sort of mental disease or just have this, you know, personality disorder just like you have. So it's either textbook narcissism or sociopath type shit or you're bipolar or you're a manic. You're just depressed or some shit. Or maybe you're a little bit of all, all these groups. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but I'm still diagnosing you anyway because there's something terribly wrong with this shit. So, like I said, for everybody out there who has something that's going wrong in their life and they actually need to do something about it, you should take it upon yourself to actually do something about it. You don't like the situation, you change the situation. That's all I can say about that. And if you just want to sit there and just wallow in your own sorrow, then that's your business. But I'm just saying from one human being who happens to be your co-worker to another human being, that's a co-worker. Fix your shit, homie. Because if you don't... 33, 33. Let me turn this down. Matter of fact, let me turn this, I'm going to turn this down real quick. But, like I was saying, you need to do something about that shit. Because if you want to sit around and just wallow in your own sorrow, like I said, then you're just going to have a sad existence. And you're pretty much not going to get anything out of it. So, fix that shit, homeboy. Now, anyway... This was another Office Space Edition of Prop Size here on the Mr. Pro Seals YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe and watch the other videos on this channel. Now, if you want to hear more from me, you can catch me on Tuesdays on What the Fuego on WFBS 981 Fuego Beast Radio, where we showcase indie artists from all genres of music for your listening pleasure. So, Check that out. I'm your boy Prophet. Check me out. Like I said, what the fuego every Tuesday, WFBS 981 at 8 p.m. And I'm out. Peace. <laughs>